Working. Like I, like I said, you know, I, I think this was the kind of like the topic yesterday. Contracts don't define relationships. And we've always had a very good relationship. Still will. You know, um, just excited to, you know, make this event as big as possible. Mm -hmm. Leonard, Leonard you know, why like this the, fight and why now? Why, why this fight and why now? It's the biggest fight in all of boxing. You got two young stars coming together. Gets no bigger than that. You know, um, from two different worlds, but two different fan bases. So Tank, Tank is such an established fighter. Why take this fight? Why not? You know, you know, it's, this is, you know, being an elite fighter is always about taking risks. You know, and, and I, um, both guys are really um, excited, you know, about taking this risk. And both guys were very adamant about getting this done. Mm -hmm. Is this the fight to break up the backlog of uh, boxing matches that we haven't had a chance to see do? Can this kind of clear the way for other bigger matches to see these two, promoter, two, two, two promoters working together? I, I think this is going to be the start of a lot of great things because, again, it's like you got two guys that are, this is a big risk. This is a, a big risk. I mean, somebody's old will go. You know, and you, and you got two guys are at a very very high level you, you know um, so again it's, it's gonna be number but fireworks and, and you know you, we've seen these kind of fights happen before and you know this probably will be the start of you know some other great things down the road what do you think of the comparisons to uh, De La Hoya Mayweather for this fight me personally I don't see that you know I think this is one of one I think this is this is a fight that that stands on its own. You got because we're in a. This is a different time. You know, back when when we did Floyd and Oscar. You know, he was. You know, he was bigger than life. You know, and Floyd was that guy. You know, and and the two worlds collided, and we used that as a platform for Floyd to go on to become the biggest star in the sport. This one's different because, you know, social media. You know, you could you got. You got two guys that are very, very popular. You know, um, Tank's the hottest fighter in all of boxing. You know, and Ryan is—he's a again a very good fighter um, inside the ring. He's done phenomenal things outside the ring. I'm very, very impressed with the things he's been able to do outside the ring, with generating his attention. You know, all the attention to himself. Um, he has a fabulous team, fabulous lawyer. Um, and Guadalupe, um, so he's doing big things himself, you know, so he's created a lot of noise and we know what Tank is doing. So when you bring those two worlds together, man, this thing is going to be fucking huge. Does it break a million pay-per-view buys? You I don't want to get into those kind of conversations on how well the event is going to do, but trust me, when you see me come out, you know what it is. I like how jovial you and Oscar are. Can you guys hug it out? I mean, you guys have a great report going on today. No, I, I don't I'm know. Tell him, like, I just heard what he was just saying. That he was just like, well, we can make this. I said, dude, every time I turn around, you bashing, you, you bashing my guy. Like, so how is that supposed to go? You, know you mean? guys can grow your beards together. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, you know, uh, I don't have any problems, you know, uh, with anybody. You know, it's, it's business at the end of the day. And, you know, when when the right deal is there to be made, it'll, it'll get made, you know, but every deal ain't the right deal. Leonard, you talk, you talk about business. What is your business relationship now with Tank, considering he's not with Mayweather Promotions? I'm working the event. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm working with Tank. You know, with all the uh, talk about the weight, would you, if, if you were, you know, your team Tank, but if you were team Ryan, would you consider it all like like Floyd did with Marquez when it was 144, he came at 46, pay whatever the fine's gonna be, come in at whatever weight you're comfortable on, you know, is that is that an option for Ryan? You think in terms of winning the fight, for you know, take the 500, six, whatever the fine would be, and try to you know come in at what you're comfortable at. What do you think about? I don't want to get in uh, any conversation about what's what's in the agreement, but if. You know, to each is his own. That's all I. That's all I can say. Would it be a hefty, would it be a hefty uh, fine if, if that's what he tries to do? Come in. And